So now you can see that we are able to attach the screenshot in the Cucumber JVM report. Okay, this is the one screenshot is captured through the code and it's attached into the report. Okay, so how we can do this? Let's see in this video. Hey, hello guys, welcome back. This is Viren Kumar. So in this video session, I am going to show how we can attach the screenshot in the Cucumber JVM report. Okay. Now we have the Cucumber latest version and with the latest version we are facing some issues to attach the screenshots. Okay. There are some uh, deprecations will happen for the at the rate after methods, before methods and the ambient methods. So when you try to attach the screenshot in the Cucumber JVM reports, the screenshot is not going to attach into the report. If you are using the Cucumber API.java scenario, then the embed method is not resolved. Okay. Because this scenario will be available in the API.java methods. Okay. And now we are having the io.cucumber. method. Okay. This is the package which we are going to refer okay. in this package. Now the scenario is going to present. So when you try to uh, add the embed method with io.cucumber method then it will not resolve so you will get this error scenario embed dot is not resolved or it's not working and without this method you cannot attach the screenshot in the cucumber report so this is the first issue you will face and that we will solve in this video second you might face the add the add after and the before method these are not the J unit at the rate after and the before, these are the cucumber annotations, okay, which we are going to use in the hooks in the cucumber. Okay. If you don't know hooks, I will explain in the other videos, but uh, it's just uh, before conditions and the after condition that we are going to execute. And if these are not resolved or not working, there might be some discrepancy with the package or the version of the currently cucumber IO version you are using. So uh, don't worry, I am going to show and resolve all these problems and then I will show how to attach the screenshot in the Cucumber JPM report. So just see this video from starting to the end. Okay, so now I'm going to switch my Eclipse. Okay, so now this is the my Cucumber project. As you can see Cucumber new project. In this project, I have the one feature files print Google. As I'm referring this feature file in all my videos so I'm going to use this one I have the few steps and this is a scenario one okay search we did in the Google search box so I'm, I'm going to add the scenario one okay and then finally I have the src test java file under the test java folder or the package I have the step definition package okay in a step definition package I am adding the one java file that we call the hooks so if you don't have the hooks.java file, you just add this file, okay? And this file you can add under the step definition. So I, I have added this one and in in this hooks.java uh, files, you, you need to extend the base class. So base class basically we have defined some uh, variables. So initialization will happen for the global variables that we are going to use in our project. So that is into my utilities package. So this is my base class and I just defined the web driver driver equal to null. Okay, so this is the basic statement I have defined in the base class package. Now the hook stored Java will extend this base class. So what will happen? The driver will come into this one. Into the hooks Java files, we are going to define the two annotations. Okay. This is the annotation one at the rate before and this is the annotation second at the rate after. Okay. Now in the before you can provide your conditions and in the after we are going to write the screenshot code. I will explain before that. If you are facing the at the rate after condition before is not working and the not resolve, you might referring to the cucumber.api.java. Okay. And in your pom.xml file you are taking the dependency of the latest version okay so io.cucumber we are using the latest version so what is the latest one 
means above the four version. So above the four version, if you are using Cucumber Java or Cucumber J unit, and there in Hooks Java, if you try to access with the API dot Java, you will get this error. So how to fix this one? You need to import this package io dot cucumber dot java dot after. So the concept is your cucumber dot api dot java will replace with this statement. Okay, so you should replace with this statement. Second thing, your after statement, uh, your before statement is replaced with the same code. Okay, this is your before. And third one is your scenario. So io dot cucumber dot java scenario. So these io these are coming from the latest package of the cucumber because the cucumber is removed these after and the before annotations from the latest version uh, from the latest documentation same for this scenario so if you try to deal with the latest version of the cucumber and if you try to access the cucumber.api.java it will not work so what you need to do you you write the import statement what you can see on my screen okay Okay, so once you have done your before and the after annotation will work. Now, the second uh, things what you need to do in after statements, you can provide the package uh, method name, any name. Now you have the scenario. Okay, earlier what we were doing, we will try to access this scenario in cucumber.api.java. Okay, and in the api.java package, we are dealing with the embed method but now this embed method is removed from the latest version of the cucumber.io package okay if you are going to use if you are using the cucumber above 4 then the embed method will be removed from this package now how then how to do this so uh, you need to write this statement io.cucumber.java scenario okay your scenario going to refer from this i.cucumber.java package and you can provide the reference number or name okay now the same code we will use uh, i see what it's failed okay if this is the failed then what we are going to do we are going to take this screenshot so text text screenshot will come from the selenium package so you can use the as it is org.openqa.selenium text screenshot okay this is a text screenshot now text screenshot dot get screenshot edge so we are going to use the output types as a bytes so these are also coming from the selenium code so selenium these two lines will be the same okay now uh, you want to embed the screenshot so earlier we were using the embed method now here you need to add the attach method okay so so your M embed method will replace with the attach method in the io.cucumber.java this is the latest version of the cucumber package okay if you are using this package you need to add scenario.attach now in this you can provide the screenshot bytes so this is the byte reference variable so you need to provide this one byte this is the array you need to provide this one and the file name file type this is the file type uh, image slash png you want in the png format and there you can uh, provide any names okay this is the uh, screenshot so i'm i can say this like taking screenshot okay and you can save this code and if you want to take the past scenario screenshot also you can write the same code in the else condition okay the same code i employed so now how this code will work if your scenario is going to fail if you want to take the screenshot of the failed scenarios then this code will work if you want the screenshot for all the scenarios pass which got passed then you need to get the screenshot of these ones so this will work for pass and the fail test steps or the test scenario in the cucumber.java so these things you have to do 
okay now so rest code will be the as it is your pom.xml will be the same your base class will be the same your hooks you need to add and this is a code to take the screenshot in your hooks class just to make sure this about these packages you are going to import okay and these these are the package so you can copy as it is whatever you are seeing on my screen you can just type as it is in your code and try to execute with this code and this is your feature files test runner files and print.google files okay so this is a step definitions file okay now one more thing that if you are writing the hooks.java it should be in the same package otherwise you need to provide the hooks path in the glue code okay so better to keep in the step definition your hooks.java file now to generate the screenshot in the cucumber html report what you need to do you need to run your automation script with the maven command not with the test runner command okay if you are running the directly the with test runner your screenshot will not work in the report so what you need to do you need to create the report and this will execute and attach the screenshot so i'm going to run this command maven clean verify and just enter launch the browser Okay, so the build is successful. Now let's see the report. So for that, you can go to the project folder, and in the project folder, you have the one target folder is there. In the target folder, you have created one folder, and in that, you will get the Cucumber HTML reports. And now the HTML report is generated. Now uh, let me check the screenshot is attached in this report or not. So I'm going to open this one of the feature file. In the Google Chrome. Okay, so the report is open here. Now you can see uh, the report, the test case feature file is the pass. Okay, now let me check the screen so it attach or not. So I'm going to the scenario. Now let's go to the hooks part. Hooks part, now you can see the message is screenshot attached. Now when I click and you can see the screenshot is in the report. So like that you can attach the screenshot in your HTML report. Just to make sure you should deal with the io.cucumber.java for the latest version of the Cucumber. If you are using the Cucumber version more than above 4, version 4, then you need to deal in this way to attach the screenshot. Okay. If you have any um, doubt or if you have any, any help you require, you just comment me in this video and definitely help you to solve your issues.